Hello and welcome to another video. Today it's not about the macrocosmos uh, that you know from astronomy and with telescopes and so on. This time it's about the microcosmos and I want to invite you to join me on a journey to explore the microcosmos. And as usual we do this with a little helper. In this case this microscope here. This is a monocular biological microscope from TS, the TS XMP7. And this features some interesting things. First and foremost the magnification from 40 times to 640 times. But it has also some nice features integrated that I want to explain you in the next minutes. First of all I show you what's in the box, what you get with the microscope. So it comes in that in that foam box here. And here you can also see the size, it's very compact, it's super easy to carry uh, to carry around, no problem. The next thing is a projecting element which slides into here. Normally you will not see this, this is just uh, completely uh, in the tube. You get two eyepieces to it, a 10 time eyepiece, the larger one and the 16 time, together with this uh, objective lens revolver with three objective lenses. You can choose between six different magnifications but you can also use this one to change the magnification seamless. Um, another thing in the box is this pouch here. This is, maybe you have seen uh, these pouches standing around in laboratories or somewhere. Uh, this is just used to cover it from dust. Um, these microscopes are collecting dust like nothing, it's incredible. And they are difficult to clean. You need a brush or something to clean them. So it's far more easy to put this pouch, this bag over it when you not use the microscope and you don't want to put it back in the in the foam box. And last but not least uh, there are two manuals with it, one English, one German, uh, for yeah to get started with the microscope that you get an idea uh, what all these pieces are but I will also talk you through the pieces. Okay so that's, what's, that's all what's in the box. Um, now let's get started. You're starting from the top going down to the bottom. So the first thing I already shown you, this is this draw tube here. It's some sort of Barlow element that you can use to change the magnification in addition to rotating the revolver. The head of the microscope is turnable. When losing this lock screw you can turn the head of the microscope. For example, if there are many people standing around your table, then you can just turn the microscope. You don't have to turn the, the microscope itself. Um, then it will catch different light or something. So this is not working that good. But by turning the head, you are good to go. Yeah, the next thing already mentioned is also one of the most important things is the objective lens revolver. There are three objectives um, connected. They are screwed, on, screwed onto the revolver. There is a four time magnification, a 10 time and a 40 time objective lens mounted. Yeah, then here we have a light source. You use this light source for reflected light. If you have some opaque uh, subjects that you want to observe, then the transmitted light is not working. You need light from the top. And to get an alway, always the same lighting, different to sunlight, for example, which is changing over time, uh, you can use this light 45 degree angle onto your subject. The next thing, of course, the most prominent thing here is this cross table. You can, when you put your sample on this table, you can move it exactly around by using these 
rotating knobs here. This will just move your sample around to get it in the perfect position to your field of view. Okay, so far this is the top. Now let's get down to the bottom. Here we have a condenser lens and an integrated LED. This is used for transmitted light. It will focus the light a bit through your subject. And because the use of the LED, this is not heating your subject, which is really good. And the intensity of the light is adjustable. To adjust the intensity, you use this screw wheel here from basically nothing to brightest, uh, brightest light here. And to enable these two lamps, you use this knob here. It has basically four positions off, only the top light, the reflecting light, only the transmitting light or both of them. Maybe sometimes you have an object where you need both. That is possible and you can uh, adjust this here. Switch it on and off. Well, and the most used thing on this microscope, on every microscope, in principle, is this one here. With these two rotating knobs you adjust the focus. And focus on a microscope is adjusted by moving the subject, not moving the lenses, but the subject up and down to get in perfect focus. And you will need this often because the, the depth of the focus is, in a microscope is extremely narrow. Only some micrometers, uh, especially with higher ma magnifications, you will always have to turn uh, this knob a bit to achieve the perfect focus. Last but not least, there's one feature left, and this is below the table. Below the table there is a filter wheel integrated, a six position filter wheel with one empty position and then there are some color filters integrated so you can match your subject to the perfect color to get the most contrast out of your subject. So far so good. Um, of course you get a power supply to it which comes into here and then you can enable the proper light source that you need. Okay, so that's all for the microscope itself. This is pretty common standard. Nearly every biological microscope come in that shape. So nothing very special, nothing different. And now you have multiple options how to start. For example, if you want to start really out of the box, super, super quickly, don't want to mess around with, with uh, preparing subjects, then we offer you some sort of these. These are prepared samples. I choose for this uh, for this demonstration here I choose botany and zoology. In each box there come 25 prepared samples. Really nice tiny uh, wooden box. There's also uh, a sheet of paper in it with, with the description of every of every glass plate that you can find here. And these samples are pretty good prepared. So uh, you get uh, the label to it. In this case here German and on the right side is English. And these samples are prepared to stay a long time. Normally you would prepare a sample with water in between the the lower glass plate and the upper glass plate. But in this case here, I think, I'm not sure, but I think it's some sort of epoxy that will seal the subject completely and they will last years. So no problem to have them a very long time. If you take care of the glass itself, they will last forever. Another thing that I want to introduce you, that I want to show you, especially in the, in the next chapter I will of course show you how the image will look when you look through a microscope. But it's difficult to, to explain or, or use a, a big video camera for it. So I can suggest or can recommend uh, this one here. This is a little video camera. In principle it's some sort of webcam. 
uh, there's not much more to it, but it is uh, dedicated for microscopes, so it has the proper connection and also an uh, optical element into it uh, to gain focus in the good in a correct position. And this camera installs as a yeah like a webcam. So you have many opportunities with it. You can for example use the view of this camera for streaming. You can do online online teaching just with this simple camera and all of them are yeah not really expensive. That's the entry level uh, microscopes we are talking about and it's a super super easy start. So now I think it's time to set up a computer and show you some examples. Okay so for this demonstration I set up my notebook, the camera is connected and now we have to remove that Barlow element from the drawer tube and just put in the camera. So everything stands on the table, there are no screws or something, uh, this is just working fine that way. And now to see your image you need some sort of video player or maybe a Zoom or Webex or something if you want to uh, stream it directly. Uh, for this example here I used VLC player, it's an open source uh, player that is very versatile with, with streaming and, and showing um, video devices. Okay, now let's just start randomly. I choose botany and we yeah, just let me grab a random sample. That looks interesting, a bamboo stem. And we put the sample on the table. And now we have to find the proper position and the proper focus which can sometimes be a bit time-consuming. Here we are. Okay, this was pretty fast. It's a, it's a large sample. Here you see the, the border of it. Yeah, let's be in that position. Um, what you can see here with these prepared samples, you have some, some bubbles uh, under the glass and some contamination. This is, uh, yeah, this is this is standard, you will see this also in your own samples. But because the uh, focal plane is so narrow, you can distinguish easily between bubbles and subject. It's no problem. It's lagging a bit because I'm also recording the screen here. Um, this is the, yeah, it's difficult to tell the magnification when using a video camera. I would say it's still, uh, this is 40 time magnification. To be on a, on a safe side, that is not exactly true because um, the screen size is the real uh, magnification. Okay, but I think we can go one step higher here, 10 times, and we have to refocus now. So, okay, that's, that's a nice one. The cells of the bamboo are really really easily visible and that's some sort of let's say 100 times magnification and from experience I can tell you that you most of the time will use a lower magnification there are only few few uh, examples a few subjects that need the highest magnification uh, the view is just more relaxing when using a lower magnification and now we go to the to the maximum just as demonstration but the bamboo is very transparent so that uh, there is not that much contrast in it but anyway it's a nice subject to explore I do this really quickly here of course when you do it by yourself you can uh, fly through the image and, and check out all the features that your sample will provide Okay, let's grab another one. Maybe this one, the mulberry. <coughs> we start as usual with the lowest magnification, 40 times. 
and gain focus. Here come the bubbles and the subject. Oh, by the way, these samples that we, we provide you are all colored. There, there is a specific uh, chemical injected into the subject that will color up the cells and all the features in it. And of course I will put your links in the description below uh, to these samples, to the microscope. All things that I'm using here are linked in the description below. So, as said, just a few examples, but I will also show you the zoology because there are also some really incredible subjects in it. A bee leg, not in focus yet, but just wait a second. I will frame it up a bit more properly. So, this is also in some sort uh, transparent a bit so you can use only the transmitting light that is possible and working very well here I said if you have opaque samples then you should use the reflecting light and I'm pretty sure you recognized it but it took me something around five minutes to set this all up and to get such an image here on the screen so there's not not much work to do and I think this is also a real cool gift for, for younger people, for students, for kids to get their first steps into biology, for example. Okay, let's grab another one. Wow, that's a great, a great example. Look at this color. Really good prepared. So now, um, basically now it's up to you to uh, check out what are these features in an earthworm? <laughs> and again we switch to a bit higher magnification. And this is difficult to, to get it in focus. This is more easy when you look through the microscope because uh, then you have no lag, obviously, and this is much more easy to, to focus. So now if you like that, these prepared examples, you will soon ask, well, now I will prepare my own samples. I will check out some plants or insects uh, from somewhere out in the nature. Then we also offer you plain glass slides. This is basically just a box of plain, plain glass, which you use as a subject holder with a, with a covering glass also to it. Um, as usual, link is in the description below. Uh, with that one and a very sharp knife and some knowledge that you can uh, gain from books or videos uh, you can prepare your own samples and then you can really dive into that microcosmos which is a stunning experience. I hope you liked that little introduction into microscopy and the XMP7. Um, if so please drop us a comment, give us a like, uh, we would really appreciate it and see you next time. Thank you very much, bye bye.